Having issues? <laughs> oh, we got her. So, do you want to explain what's going on? Not exactly, because I'm trying to finish this. <laughs> it's probably more than likely it won't work in the first place, so. Oh, come on! It's working! So here in the shop, I uh, picked up this tornado salt spreader, and so we're going to take it out of this truck and then uh, put it together, uh, see if it works, and then put it back in. We're going to bolt it down, um, and then this will be the salt truck for this year. So we're going to get it uh, ripped out and get started putting it together. This is, is a 1.8 cubic yard, eight foot uh, Western Tornado. And uh, how they come is they come pretty much put together. It's real simple. Um, everything is inside here. Uh, this is poly uh, with the lids on it. And they come with this uh, pallet on the back. And so you can stand it up, move it around, um, poke it with the, with the skid steer forks and move it around easier that way. I just, I don't care if it flies open and smacks my truck anyhow, really. Yeah. Really mind. Um, anyway, uh, I suppose we can take it out now, huh? Yeah, I suppose we need to. Yeah, so these grates are in. Yeah, so it's all in. Was Dad's not? No. Okay. Yeah, we got our wiring harness in there. We got, uh, what's in the box? What would that be, like a spinner or something? Control, and then the main... control and everything, probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice grate holder. And then the back end and the spinner. It uh, goes right here. Having issues? <laughs> oh, we got her. So we do have to take this uh, support beam out to get this back end piece out. Because it just doesn't it doesn't come out uh, the way it's sitting now. Yeah, we got the goodies. It's all sandy. I don't know if the belt would rub on that or not.
bolts in to uh, secure it to the box. And so now we're going to do electrical, or Aaron is. Well, you got to put your fuse in there. It's like that. Little fuse box. Yup. Tiny little one. <laughs> Cute little thing. Mega 100 amp. Sweet. Oh, yeah. So we've got the wiring harness ran from the battery uh, right to back here. So it's very simple. It goes right from the battery all the way under. We uh, ran it along the frame and just zip tied it to the frame. Um, and different cross members down there. Ran it up the back. Uh, brought it right through uh, the bumper and the the back of the box here. Ran it up here. Uh, made, made sure it doesn't uh, move a whole lot. And just zip tied it right here. That gives us power back to this control box here. And back to the rest of it. We're having some troubles with the third brake light not wanting to light up. We do have lights back here. Do you have a third brake light now or no? That are going a little crazy. Uh, no, not yet. But what he's doing is he's trying to find a hot uh, somewhere to tap into to get that third brake light to light up. Nothing yet. Tapping into the radio one. Yeah, that was radio. So do you want to explain what's going on? Not exactly, because I'm trying to finish this. <laughs> it probably more than likely it won't work in the first place, so. So we figured out what CHMSL is, which is awesome. Oh yeah, most definitely. Been waiting for that all my life. Yeah. There we go. So there's an orange wire that um, he's connecting to the CHMSL, which is the center high. Um, stop, center high mount stoplight. Is that what it is? Center high mount stoplight, yep. Yeah, which is third brake light. And so, once that gets hooked up, we're going to have light. Yes, be light. Knock on wood. My wire. Oh, here it is on my face. <laughs> Man. Oh, I think we might need to clip the end of this off. Yeah, we do. Okay. You need the clipper? Uh, do we have our electrical? Uh, Got it. I just need a cup. Oh, just right off. There we go. So the reason he's under there and not me is because he is a stinking genius when it comes to this stuff. That's why. Oh, come on! It's working! Oh, hey, Boda. Sweet. Now you're good. Yeah, and the light was on too.